Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be discussing the Cincinnati Bengals and we're going to be previewing their 2020 NFL schedule. Now as you guys all know, Cincinnati Bengals in the previous draft, the 2020 NFL draft, they had the number one overall pick and they chose the guy out of LSU known as Joe Burrow to be their starting quarterback replacing Andy Dalton who ended up going to the Dallas Cowboys to be their backup for Dak Prescott and possibly starter because we don't even know if Dak Prescott is going to be the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys after this season. But the Cincinnati Bengals 2019 record was a terrible record. It was 2-14. and 14. But what is going to be their 2020 record? For the 2020 NFL season let's find out the first game of the season is going to be against another rookie quarterback if he's starting which I don't really think he'll be starting and probably be against Tyrod Taylor but it's going to be against the Los Angeles Chargers comparing those two comparing the two NFL teams between Cincinnati and the Chargers I'm going to give this one to Cincinnati Cincinnati is going to start their first game of the season with the win, and Joe Burrow's going to get some confidence in him. But unfortunately, that confidence is not going to last. Because then they face division rival Cleveland Browns. And I just want to say, that offense from the Cleveland Browns, adding Austin Hooper in there, getting that left tackle, getting a tackle in the draft, this Cleveland Browns team is going to be really, really good in terms of the NFL season. That's why I'm going to give the Cleveland Browns the win against the Bengals in the second game of the season. Third game of the season is another loss for Cincinnati Bengals. They face against the Philadelphia Eagles. And when it comes to this game, I don't really feel like there's much to explain, but I will explain. I mean, obviously, the Eagles were in the playoffs last season. The Cincinnati Bengals weren't. Carson Wentz is fully healthy, and they got Jalen Hurts if Carson Wentz ever gets injured. So this Eagles team is 100% definitely going to beat Cincinnati. But Cincinnati comes as a surprise to the Eagles, I'll be shocked because I don't see that, I don't see that game you know, like going that way. So that means starting off the season, Cincinnati is going to play the Chargers at home and then the next two games they're both going to lose away at the Browns and Eagles. Then they're going to get a win against the Jaguars at home. I mean, is there Jaguars are tanking right now. I mean, Jaguars just lost Leonard Ford. They released Leonard Ford now. Leonard Ford now went to the Buccaneers. So, I mean, they're, they're just losing a whole bunch of players. They traded away Yannick and Gakwe, so... Yeah, Jacksonville is definitely going to lose this game. Jacksonville is probably going to have the same record as the Cincinnati Bengals had when it came to last season. But then the Bengals are going to go on a lose. The Bengals are going to go on a losing streak. They face the Ravens, Colts, Browns, and Titans. They face the Ravens and the Colts away from home. Yeah, the Ravens uh, have Lamar Jackson, who almost made to this, who made to the playoffs and should have made to at least to the conference championship game last season so I don't really see Cincinnati having a chance against that team especially with the way that team is built even though they lost Earl Thomas they're still built really really good then they face the Colts who I feel like are going to be a better team especially now that they have Phillip Rivers as their quarterbacks even though Jacoby Brissett last season did a very good job yeah Cincinnati's not going to beat the Colts then they face the Browns again but this time it's going to be at Cincinnati I've already explained the the Cleveland Browns offense is just too very too good for this Bengals defense. Even though they do got um uh, I forgot I forgot his name the defensive guy for the best defensive guy Cincinnati's got I can't remember his name. And then before the bye they face a face off against the Tennessee Titans who last season made to the playoffs beating the New England Patriots. So do you really see Cincinnati having a chance against Tennessee? Not, not really. When it comes to this, even though these last two games, last two games before the bye are going to be at home against Cincinnati, they're going to lose these games. And to start off the ha first half of the season, they're going to go two and six. Yeah, that almost that almost that almost, had, that almost like reminds me of the way the Falcons went one and seven. But unfortunately for Cincinnati and Bengals, I don't really think they're going to pick up pick up. Um, uh, well, they're going to pick up more wins, but not as many wins as Falcons did because Falcons ended. 6-2 and two last season, um, during the second half of the season. They come off the bye, and they're going to face the, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are going to be a better team. Big Ben is going to be healthy, hopefully. Um, I mean, that Steelers team is always just really, really competitive when it comes to the AFC North, so I don't really see them getting the loss, especially when it comes to being at the Steelers. So 
the Cincinnati Bengals are going to start off start off the second half of the season with a loss. And then they're going to face the Washington Redskins, the New York Giants, and then the Miami Dolphins. Washington away, Giants and Dolphins at home. Washington is a debatable one. Because, of course, these two teams had the first two picks in the NFL draft. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a really, really debatable game. A really, really like con- controversial game. Because either, either team can get the win in this instance. But in this in this case in this case I'm gonna go based off I'm gonna go based off of who who I think is going to win and judging by the defensive side I'm gonna give the Washington football team the win against the Cincinnati Bengals then they're going to face the Giants they, if Saquon Barkley is healthy they don't got a chance to stop in Saquon Barkley Saquon Barkley is one of the best running backs in the NFL so there's no chance that the Cincinnati defense stops him they're gonna lose against the Giants. Then we have the battle of the best rookie quarterbacks from this NFL this NFL draft. We have Joe Burrow versus Tua Tagovailoa. This this game is also going to be a really really good game because of course the Dolphins offensive line is pretty crap, but the Dolphins are probably still going to have a decent enough team and I feel like they're going to get a it's going to be a close game, but I feel like the Dolphins are going to get the win in distance this instance and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. At, oh, actually, at the Dolphins, I thought it was away. I thought it was at home against the um at home for the Cincinnati Bengals, but it's actually away at the Dolphins. Then they're gonna have back to back home games against the Steelers, um, Cowboys and Steelers. Cowboys, yeah. Since, I'm sorry, Cincinnati. Andy, if Andy Dalton's the quarterback by then, if Andy Dalton wins against the Cincinnati Bengals, then that's gonna that's gonna look really really weird, but. Yeah, then they face the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, Cincinnati is not going to be Dallas, but they will. So I'm going to give them the shock win against the Pittsburgh Steelers heading into the last three games of the season. Of course, the Steelers is the first of the last three games of the season. Then they're going to get another shock win. They're going to get out. They're going to come off the hype of beating the Steelers, and they're going to beat the Houston Texans at the Houston Texans. Just, I just feel like the Houston Texans are not going to be as good as many people predict, and I don't really know why. Maybe it's because, obviously, they lost DeAndre Hopkins. But, yeah, I just don't see them being good as they were last season. And then to end off the season for the Cincinnati Bengals, they will face against the Baltimore Ravens. And this one is a no-doubt loss for Cincinnati Bengals. So, to end the season, if you guys remember, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys remember... I said the Cincinnati Bengals 2019 record was 2 and 14. The Cincinnati Bengals record according to my predictions of what I think is going to happen for the 2020 NFL season, which is going to be happening next weekend. Actually, it starts Thursday. It starts Thursday. The first NFL game of the season is Thursday, and I'm going to have the Cincinnati Bengals finishing with a record of 4 and 12, which is a two-game the, it's a two. It's a two game. You know, I, I mean, they won two more games than last season. But the one game I probably give Cincinnati Bengals another shot at, at getting to like three and thirteen is the Washington game because that that game is going to be a really really good game. But in terms of the Cincinnati Bengals prediction, that is my video for you guys today. Make your sh- make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so you my videos going live. I will be posting more sports content for you guys to see in the coming days. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the videos, and I will see you guys all later. Peace.